Hi, Dave Goodman here. Welcome to the next workshop, Fingerstyle Guitar together with Yamaha Guitars. Um, in this workshop, we're going to take a look at playing a slow blues ballad in minor. And uh, in particular, uh, how to play long quarter note bass notes together with, with, with the little voicing tricks on the top. The main thing is to get this groove, so if we're on an A minor like this, we're doing... This kind of thing. Sometimes I'm dampening it, sometimes I'm playing it open. Um, this is a technique, a fingerstyle technique, which is a beautiful alternative to always doing the, uh, the octave bass and, and um, sort of fancier uh, finger style tricks. This is a very simple thing. Um, so I'll play the song. I'll play a short version of it uh, because there are many verses. And, uh, and then I'll show you the sections and licks uh, slowly, uh, piece by piece. So have fun with St. James Infirmary. down St. James Infirmary Saw my baby there Stretched out on a long white table So cool So pale And so fair Let her go, let her go, God bless her Wherever she, she may be She can search this whole wild world all over Never find another good loving man like me Wherever she, she may be She can search this whole wide world all over And never find another good loving man like me So now I'll show you the, uh, the uh, individual sections and licks that I played on St. James Infirmary. Um, I maybe forgot to mention that the tuning is standard. Uh, the first five strings are standard, but it's a drop D tuning. So the low E is one tone below. Um, and the point of this exercise really is, is getting these easy, slow quarter notes on the groove. Uh, much like the finger style workshop we did with the octave, we're sometimes playing a whole chord here above with these three fingers, and sometimes just improvising a little parts of the arpeggio. But the main thing is to get this slow quarter note groove going. So from the D minor, that's the first chord we start on, although the song is in A minor. But just to get into the groove, let's try this. Sometimes it's open like this, and sometimes I'm dampening it like this. And it's very much like the damping pedal on a, on a piano. 
So, then comes an E7. And sometimes I play this note here. down like this, an F7 or an F13, and an E7, an A minor. And then I play the turnaround like... So from the intro, really slowly, three, four... comes the verse. So we've got A minor E7, D7, the F7, again the D By the way, this is a A minor, G, and then this is a D with an F sharp in the bass, which is a first inversion D7, or a D major rather. Okay, uh, the next thing uh, that I did after I sang two verses, um, I played a little solo. So I'll just show you these licks here. And again, the bass is pretty much remains as, as, I, as it was as I was accompanying the singing. The first lick. Again. The next lick. Here I went. This you kind of have to do in tempo. And here I'm doing uh, our, uh, harmonics, and then I'm bending from an E into an F. And then I'm doing a little rise up on the E. Again, here's this little harmonic D minor. So another little trick that you can do that I sometimes do in this song is to actually move the body and the neck of the guitar. So when I did this chord, for example, so I can actually put my hand on the bow of the guitar here and move it back and forth. And this is creating a kind of a beautiful vibrato, almost a chorusing effect. So that's basically it. Um, I would recommend playing through the chords of the verse and just getting this groove going. And you can even just play... Just play the chord one time above like that. Just do it like that in the beginning until you get used to it. And then after you can do that comfortably, then just start to improvise a little amount of movement in the upper part of the chord. So again, like on the D minor, 
for example, something like that. And then I tapped on the end, on the very end, a harmonics right here. So, have fun with St. James Infirmary and see you for the next workshop.